Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to be talking about how you guys can use arpeggios to make your chord progressions a little bit more interesting. All the tones you're hearing in this video today are coming from my PRS S2 Studio which is plugged into the Black Star Silverline Deluxe. Many guitar players associate arpeggios with the technique of sweep picking which for many newer or intermediate players can seem quite a daunting prospect. But arpeggios can also be used in rhythm guitar and they can be very interesting and great for spicing up existing chord progressions. If you've got a bunch of chords that you like the sound of but you just want a little bit more excitement from it, arpeggios could be the way to go. So an arpeggio essentially just means breaking up a chord into single notes. So it doesn't necessarily mean sweep picking at 160 BPM. You can do arpeggio slowly as well. And in this video, we're going to tackle that. So we're going to be using a really simple chord progression I've come up with, which uses some simple chords. So it's an A minor, a C, a D minor, I'm going to be doing another C and I'm going to be switching then to this chord which just drops the lowest note of the C chord to this B note. The technical name for this chord is a C add 9 slash B. So it's just like a C but I've dropped the root note down a fret and I've removed the note on the D string. It's just a really nice transitional chord for the purpose of this exercise. So you can apply these techniques to any chords you wish. These chords are just going to be used for the examples you're going to see today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this progression with a couple of different styles of chord arpeggios so you guys can take some ideas from this and use them for your own playing. So here's the first one we're going to look at. So this first arpeggio is a very directional arpeggio. I'm going from the lowest note to the highest note and back again. So on the A minor chord, that's actually starting from the A string. I'm doing four beats down and then four beats back. Now, when we're thinking in arpeggios, we have to think rhythmically. So for the purpose of this, instead of using one note per beat, I'm gonna use two notes per beat, giving me a full bar. So we've got one and two and, which is my way up the chord which gets me to the B string. Then on the third beat, I'm actually hitting the highest note and coming backwards. So it's one and two end, three and four end. Doing the same on the C chord. The only exception here is the D minor because I don't have five strings to play with, I only have four. So I'm going down, which is taking me up to the start of the third beat, one and two end. And then up from the same note. Then on the final little run with the C and the C add 9 slash B, I'm just playing this down. But this is a very directional style of arpeggio. I'm always going from low to high or high to low. Another style of arpeggio you could use would be to start with the lowest note and then skip up to a higher note and work backwards. So something like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing the lowest note on the first beat, then I'm skipping to the B string and working backwards and to and. And then on the third beat, exactly the same thing. Now because I'm only playing four strings here, this works for every single chord. So we've got A minor, to C, to D minor, and then my little run down then from C to the C add 9 slash B. That arpeggio is interesting because it's less linear than just going from low to high or high to low. It actually breaks it up with that nice jump at the start. The third arpeggio we're going to use is a slightly busy one and it goes like this.
So this one has some string skipping in. So the picking pattern here is the lowest note of the chord down to the G. So that's on the first beat. Then the second beat is the D string and the B string. So I've got this string skipping thing going on. Exactly the same for the C chord. Same for the D chord, but we move everything down a string. And then it's the same for the little rundown at the end. That one requires a little bit more picking accuracy, so you may find that one a little clumsy if you're just getting started with arpeggios, but persevere and that one will clean up in no time. The fourth and final one we're gonna look at is a little bit more complex, so here it is in full and then we'll break it down. So this pattern has a lot more going on in there. In the A minor chord, I'm starting from the A note and on the first two beats, I'm picking the A, D, G, D. And on the third and fourth beats, I'm skipping to the high E. So there's these two different directional arpeggios. There's one that goes low, up, and then we skip to high, backwards. And I'm doing the same thing on the C chord. So the string picking pattern you're using here is a, D, G, D, E, B, G, B. This obviously changes when we get to the D minor chord because once again, we don't have five strings. So here I'm starting on the D. I'm doing D, G, B, G. And then E, B, G, B. Just to make this a little more interesting, I also changed the arpeggio pan on the final rundown. So on that C to C add nine slash B, we're playing A, D, B, G. So this shows how different rhythmic arpeggios can make a progression interesting if you change the rhythm on different chords. So there you go, there are some chordal arpeggio ideas that you guys can use to spice up your rhythm playing and your existing chord progressions. So you can take these arpeggios, adapt them, use them in your own playing, and see how they improve your chords that you're already playing, because you may have a couple of chords that you've strung together that you're a little tired of the sound of, this is a great way to unlock that and also use these principles and use these ideas to come up with your own rhythmic arpeggio patterns as well. Let us know down below in the comments how you've gotten on with this and if there are any other techniques you'd like to see us break down in these videos, throw those below as well. Don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more free video lessons just like this one. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please head to musicteacher.com. Check out the database of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.